Welcome to IBC 2022. It's been three long years since the world's most inspiring content and technology event occurred in Amsterdam. And Broadcast is here in Europe to engage with each other, unlock business opportunities, discover the latest innovations, and explore the exciting world of content. Ashley within Broadcast, joining me are Matthew and Mark of TSL. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, so we have a couple new changes in the company, one of them being yourself. Tell me what's going on over here. Yep, so um, I've taken over as the new CEO uh, with effect from 1st of September. Uh, so Chris Exelby has moved up to a role as executive chairman. Um, but I've been working on and off with TSL for the best part of seven years, um, but usually on individual projects. Um, so I've known the team and the products and the, and the market pretty well over that time and uh, when the opportunity came up to take over full time it was just too good to, to refuse really so I'm delighted to be here and, and yeah my first IBC actually on the stand so. How exciting and did you want to talk any bit about what we can expect in the future in the near future from the company? Sure I think um, so from my perspective if you know what's brilliant for me in terms of taking over TSL at this point is the foundations are there. We've got great products, really good market position and, and brand, um, a great team. But my role now is really to, to try and take the company up to that next level. Um, really, you know, look at some accelerating the growth, um, accelerating our new technology developments. And I think in terms of, of what I really hope to achieve is to get the company to a point where it's seen a, as a model in the industry, not just for the, the quality and the reliability of, of the products and the innovation that's there, but also for the, the quality of the, the way the business is led and managed. Um, so a real model for the industry in, in, in terms of uh, you know, where, where the direction we take in the future. So. Here we also have Mark and we've talked to you for quite a few years but Mark can you tell me what's going on over here as far as the things you're highlighting currently here at the show or just in developments with the company? Yeah sure so uh, here across our three product vectors we're showing here is the audio, the control and the power. On the audio side we're launching our SAMQ Net here which is a uh, an exciting product for us. It, it sort of um, builds on the fact IP is now a maturing technology. People are deploying it in tier one and tier two. It's not just the early adopters anymore. So the SAMQ net allows the uh, customer to connect his audio over IP on a one gig port. So no longer do they have to burn a 10 gig port in a switch. So they're saving money both at the switch end and they have an appropriate price point audio monitor. So really exciting about that. Uh, more innovation on the uh, IP audio monitoring front as well. We've now introduced uh, our MPA1 IP, so that brings our entry level product to people who are using IP. So that's a real recognition of IP and 2110 and all the things that go with it are maturing technology. So good innovations across the audio. We're also uh, showing um, a uh, SAM, SAMQ uh, additional bit of software which allows the SAMQ products to be configured offline. So this is a really big advantage as a customer because it means they can do their configurations a day before the outside broadcast vehicle arrives on site. So potentially saving a day's hire for the outside broadcast vehicle. So that's a very attractive value proposition for our customers. Um, moving to the control here, we're very excited to be showing um, XConnect, which is a, a product that allows people who don't want to have to deal with all the complexity of an IP system to realize the benefits of an IP router. So if you had an application, say, where you were thinking about putting in a 128 square SDI router, we can provide a control layer that allows you to use IP technology, industry standard gateways. So here we're showing a number of uh, common gateways in the industry, but we talk to them in common protocols to so using AMWAR MMOS, which allows you to use best of breed gateways for your particular application, standard hardware or software control panels, and all of the complexity underneath that is removed from you. So you get the benefits of IP, but without all the hassle that goes with it. So that's a really good value proposition. On the control, we're also introducing TM1 Tally. So that's a, a growth on our Tallyman product range. We've come to recognize as the Tallyman platform's gone up market, um, there's still a demand at the entry level for Tally. So we've introduced TM1 Tally at a price point that's appropriate for those who just want to do Tally. So that's a good benefit for our users. Moving to the power products, uh, so we've got a number of uh, new power products at the entry level. We have a, a new mains distribution unit and again that's about getting the price point right for the entry people in today's market. At the top we've got a really exciting product so we've upped our intelligent monitoring unit from having 12 outputs to 14 outputs. We've also traditionally 
uh, changeover unit's been a one U box and the uh, distribution unit's been a one U box. We've merged the two together so you now have a top of the range power monitoring unit with 14 outputs and the changeover integrated into that. We also added front panel display so you can scroll, see, see current consumption, power factor, all those useful things. LED indications of the state of the outputs and the fuses, both on the front and the back, and all the usual web interfaces, SNMP, everything you'd expect from TSL. So a really good top-end product from our power being launched here. I'd say so. Sounds like a lot of great products on the way. So, yes, it's always a pleasure speaking with you guys over here, and thank you, gentlemen. I hope you have yes. a great rest of the show. Thank you so much. <laughs>